Hello everyone. This year has been such a different year. So why not try something different this Advent, the four weeks leading up to Christmas? Here are some recommendations from members of the church on different ways that adults, children and families can engage in their Advent and find space in the busyness of December to remember that it's all about Jesus. Hi, I'm Jen. One of the things we do at Advent in our family is to have an Advent candle like this one. So it's a long candle with each day of Advent marked off. And every day you burn a little bit and maybe pray um, or reflect while you're burning that bit. This candle just has numbers on it, but we've had ones in the past that have had all like, the different names of Jesus, one for each day. And that's lovely to reflect on the different aspects of his character over, over Advent. Hello, I'm Katie, and I'd like to recommend a book of daily Advent meditations called Preparing for Christmas by one of my favourite authors, Richard Raw. It's based firmly in scripture and is full of Richard Raw's insights and depths and his helpful and often different ways of looking at familiar things. I've used it for several years now and have it on my Kindle, but it is available as a small paperback as well. I'm really excited about using it again during Advent this year. Thank you. The book I'd recommend for Advent is Delia Smith, A Feast for Advent. It's not about cooking, it's about worship and keeping Jesus in the centre of all we do at such a busy time. And that's the book that I use the most. I don't have a copy of it because I think I lent it to someone last year. And last year I did The Prince of Peace in a World of Wars by David Kerrigan which is this book, which I found really good because it talks about our personal peace, but also how knowing Jesus can bring peace to our world. I don't know which one I'll do this year. I'll wait and see about the other recommendations. Hi guys, I wanted to just uh, share our Advent Delight in the Cliff family. We've really enjoyed over the years uh, using a uh, Jesse tree, which looks uh, like a very dull branch at the beginning of um, Advent, uh, as this picture shows. Um, and during Advent, you can see I've got my Advent candles and my uh, single one in the middle there. And we put together a whole list of um, items from the Jesse tree uh, which represent something from the Bible um, uh, from the Old Testament so the whole history of the tree of um, Jesus's descendants and you can see some examples of ones there um, I made a whole bunch up with the kids when they were tiny and uh, this is my gorgeous daughter's creation at the moment who's wanting to do uh, an update of our Jesse tree so it's something you can see how bedraggled the papers are how, that we've done year after year after year but it gives us a real chance to enjoy the anticipation of Christmas it's so easy in the rush of December to lose focus on Jesus and so the best way to make a Jesus focus during December is to practice Advent. Christians have done it for hundreds and hundreds of years and so here's a few things that I've come across uh, which I'd recommend to you. Uh, so first of all we've got uh, this website tenofthose.com and uh, lots of good resources on here. I'm just going to type in Advent into the search bar and in a moment it's going to come up with a variety of devotional books, uh, advent calendars and uh, other things that uh, will be uh, useful for you, some children's activity packs and, uh, and so on. Let me just highlight a couple of things in particular. Uh, so the first one is what they're calling advent blocks and this is a, a whole package uh, that comes and uh, you sort of line them up along your mantelpiece or some other thing, you move the star along uh, one day at a time and you turn the bricks round and on the other side of the brick uh, there's a little picture and there's a little uh, guide to go with it just to help unpack the story of Christmas uh, for families and uh, you can play you know build towers with them and all sorts of things. Uh, another thing uh, that they've got on their website are these uh, Advent Names of Jesus cards and so this is a, a variation on the candle theme uh, but obviously you see each of the names of Jesus uh, throughout Advent and you can pin them up or, or peg them up on a, on a rope. Another website you might want to look at is uh, eden.co.uk and if you click on their Advent button on their website That'll take you straight through. You can buy Advent candles, Advent calendars, Advent devotionals, 
and Advanced Studies. So you can browse around there. Or one other website uh, worth looking at is thegoodbook.co.uk. And again, if you type in Advent into their search bar and click on that, again, it will come up with a similar mixture of uh, Advent devotionals, uh, books for children, uh, Advent calendars, uh, even baking things that you can bake uh, around Advent. So lots of different things there. Uh, one of my favorite things, one of my favorite children's um, Bibles, which I think are great for adults as well, it's called the Jesus Storybook Bible. And they do uh, a fantastic Advent resource. Uh, you can go to uh, faithgateway.com, uh, Jesus Storybook Bible Advent Calendar, or just search for that and uh, you'll find it, we'll put the link on. And uh, you have to enter your email address and then they will email you but basically it takes one story a day from the jesus storybook bible and you can download this and print it out and uh, so it's got 25 different uh, cards which again you can peg up and on the reverse of those cards is uh, a little bible reading and uh, there's full instructions to go with it so again you land up with a, um, a string of uh, pictures reminding us of the whole bible story and how the whole bible points forward to jesus so that's some of my recommendations for Advent. I hope you found some of those ideas really helpful and interesting. And if you would like further information, then do have a look below this video at some of the links, and that will take you to a web page where it's got the further ideas that people have suggested, and also links to some of the downloads that were mentioned. If you'd be interested in finding out some of the history of Advent and particularly Advent calendars, then there's a great short video um, on the link below. If you've got any ideas of how you celebrate Advent that you'd like to share, then do add them to the comments. It'll be great to hear from you. Well, that's it from us now. And I wish you an Advent that's full of times of mystery, wonder, joy, and peace. <laughs>